Good morning and welcome back to Center for Wellness. It's Dr. J in LA. And we're gonna talk about healing through community. Um, about uh, eight years ago, one of my patients, a Vietnam veteran, still struggling with you know nightmares and uh, diabetes, heart disease, uh, you know, basically post-traumatic stress from his experience uh, when he was in Vietnam. Uh, he invited me to uh, a horse sense and healing at uh, Monty Roberts Monty Roberts Ranch in Solvang, California, and I had no idea what it was about, and uh, I I really didn't know why he was inviting me. But um, when I went, I really realized that you know, we heal in in a community, and there was so much so many people there that were supportive and loving. The horses, uh, the farm, uh, it was just like a, a crucible. It was like a nest of people inviting healing. And it really changed me. And I've, I've been uh, honored to be able to participate and, as a volunteer um, at the Horse Sense for Healing now for about eight years. And it's just been amazing, life changing for me. And I've seen other people's lives change. Uh, sometimes, you know, these veterans are taking uh, meds, prescribed meds. Uh, they're taking uh, substances to help themselves. Um, uh, sometimes they, you know, there's just, they're, they're really, some, some of these veterans are really out of control. They're just living on the edge. And I have seen some pretty amazing changes with community uh, at the farm. Um, so uh, that's one example I wanted to give about community and healing. The other, the other thing that really changed me um, uh, about four years ago, and I've read about this before and I've talked about this before, was a study done on smokers. Smokers, everybody knows, have higher heart disease, have higher cancer rates, have higher stroke rates. And there was a study done on smokers that have good connections and smokers that, uh, and, and non-smokers that don't have connections. And I was kind of like, hey, what, you know, what's, what's gonna happen with this? So the study showed that smokers that have good connections have less heart disease, less cancer, and less stroke than non-smokers that have poor social connections. And that really changed me because in medical school, everybody knows, every doctor knows, you're supposed to tell your patients to stop smoking. But we don't tell our patients to find connections, to find social uh, you know, support to find community. And uh, this study for me shows the immense value of feeling understood, of feeling part of, of feeling loved, of feeling supported, of feeling important, of feeling, you know, that our friends and our community, our church, our family uh, give us meaning and purpose. And how valuable is that to the human spirit? that then translates into physical health and wellness. To me, that's huge. That's a huge part of medicine that is often overlooked. And I, I just really believe in it, and I know it's true. And the, the third example, I'm gonna give you just a brief example. <clears throat> uh, had a patient uh, who is on different meds, trying different meds for insomnia and anxiety and depression the last year. She's been out of work for about a year because of these symptoms. And we were doing, you know, we are doing some natural things. She's seen the therapist and things were moving along. Uh, we've had, I think, three or four group sessions with her and everybody uh, is different in a good way after the session. Myself, uh, Dr. Flagg, and a couple other uh, people that have participated. And I have just seen some powerful changes. We're going to be doing more of these groups. I've already told several of my patients about this. And again, uh, it's, it's an intimate setting where it's all about sharing our feelings and, and feeling our feelings, not just staying in our head about our feelings. And when we feel our feelings with each other, we all change. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, send us your questions and we'll be back next week with another topic.